In this video, we'll discuss downloading and installing the plugins that you will need for your mastering plugin chain on the master fader of your default desk. Start by going to the websites that I gave you links for. Here is TP Pro Audio and download the free metering plugin that they set they have. Then head over to Melda and download their universal installers. There's one for the Mac and one for the PC. All their plugins are installed with this one installer. Once you've installed the plugins, you'll be left with two zip files. Let's unzip them. One for each installer. The meter is faster, so let's do this one while we wait for the other one to un unzip. Yeah, sure, I read the license. All right, and then we'll install Melda's. Again, accept the license agreement. Now, Melda's installer installs um, tons of plugins for them. They have a free effects bundle that if we select that, it installs all these free plugins. You're welcome to check them out, but for me, I decided that the commercial versions that I have do a better job. So I'm going to remove those, select none, and the only plugin I want to install is their M Loudness Analyzer. Once that's selected, I tell it to start installing. Unfortunately, it installs a whole bunch of other support files for the plugins that you chose not to install, like reverb settings, presets for that. So this will take a few minutes, and through the magic of video editing, we'll skip through it. And the installation is complete. Now let's launch um, Pro Tools. and open up our default desk. This default desk is all complete except for the mastering plugins. Here's the desk. I've got it split so that the edit window is on one side so you can see how the plugins will look here and the mix window on this side. So our mastering plugins per the handout are going to go on our master fader. The first one we want inserted is from Avid and it is Maxim, which is the compressor, the um, look ahead mastering compressor. And we want to set this at minus eight and minus eight, so we're at broadcast spec. Generally, I leave that in bypass while I'm mixing, and I don't take it out of bypass until I'm ready to calibrate my levels. Otherwise, you're chasing your tail mixing through a compressor. You go to make something louder, the compressor makes it softer. After that, we could insert the VU meter that we just downloaded. Now unfortunately as a free plugin there's some quirks involved with this plugin. I'm going to turn on the um, target button so it stays on the screen and I want to bring the maximum up and turn its target button on too so everybody stays on the screen. One of the quirks of this plugin is every time you launch Pro Tools it resets the peak. We want to look at VU so make sure you switch it back to VU. And the last plugin is the one from Melda, their loudness analyzer. This is a big plugin. It takes up a lot of screen real estate. For our purposes of this class, we don't have to look at this graph, which makes me dizzy anyway, so let's hide it. And now we have to go through some settings here. Under presets, make sure that EBU128 is loaded, which it was by default. I like to set my metering, and this just affects the range of, it doesn't affect the levels, it just affects the display of the uh, metering here. Let's set that at EBU 127. And then in the US, our loudness standard is at minus 24, not minus 23. The developers of this plugin are in Europe, and that's why it's at 23 by default. So that was minus 23. And let's change the offset also to minus 23, I'm sorry, minus 24. All right, so we're all set there. That's how we want our meters by default. If you want to look at the manual for this, there are lots of other um, settings you can study and learn what they do, but we're mostly concerned with this integrated loudness setting right here. 
Now that's it. The plugin is all con configured. We're ready to, to load in our OMFs and start mixing. And at the end, we'll check our levels. This is what your default desk should look like with the Mastering Chain plugin. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up an actual session and we'll see what the metering looks like. So here are our three plugins. Here's my mix up top here on my print track. Here is the Melda loudness meter. It's set at 128 EBU, minus plus 27, 24, and 24. That looks good. So what we're looking for here for our loudness goal would be minus 24. Then here is the mastering plugin from Maxim. It's at minus 8 and minus 8. Our VU meter, which once again, we're going to have to switch back to VU. And let's play our mix and see what our loudness is. Look, boys, the great colony reef. Back on my delicious fruit loops. That audio is playing back out of my computer speakers, which is why it sounds so weird. So our goal was minus 24, and our mix is a touch hot at minus 23.2, but that's how I like to do it. I like to push the envelope on that a little bit, and so that's a great reading. I really like that. That's good. We had no peaks above minus 8 because of our settings here, and we were within, were within 2 dB of 0 VU on our VU meter, so we're in excellent shape. The levels on this mix are to broadcast spec. It should sound very good and loud on the air. Whether it's a good mix or not is somebody else's opinion. But at least it's the spec as far as loudness. And that is how you insert your mastering plugins and use them on your default desk for your projects.